Hello, my name is Brian Melton. Today, we're in the Base Camp production facility in Jackson Center, Ohio. The Base Camp, since its inception, has been one of the best selling Airstream models in the Airstream family. We are excited to highlight a brand new model that's coming out for 2021, an expansion to this award winning design the Base Camp 20. And here we are, the brand new Base Camp 20. The Base Camp, now called the Base Camp 16 as we move into having two models, was the best selling model within the Airstream family. We're excited to introduce another version of this. We listened to the feedback from those that who bought or who were planning to buy, and we've expanded to create additional room on the inside. Not only is it longer, it's also wider and taller. The weight, 3,400 pounds, has an overall max capacity, or GVWR, of 4,300. Not only launching the Base Camp 20 to today, we're also launching the Base Camp 20X. The X package, popular on the 16 model, gives the Base Camp a three inch higher lift, more aggressive off-road tires, stainless steel front wraps, solar guards, and on the 20X, a dual step mainly because of how high the unit is off the ground. Certainly with those really aggressive tires, we had to create another step for you to get in. Before we jump inside, let's take a look at some of the features on the exterior. We have our door latch, stainless steel. We have this D-ring hook to help hook up pets when you're in your area here. Uh, the LP shroud actually ha houses two LP 20 pound tanks and has a shelf on top for additional storage. Your manual jack, your breakaway switch, two safety chains, your seven-way, our new coupler that we put on for our earlier in 2020. Moving around to this side of the base camp, we have a solar port that allows you to have an external array should you wish to use one. Another storage area on the outside, a great spot for a hose. You have your waste, outlet for your gray and black, 30 power amp uh, power center. You have your uh, wastewater hose su supply here. And then underneath, you'll have your, your spare tire in the front. We have four heavy duty stabilizer jacks in each corner to create a real stable platform while inside. The condensation tube for the air conditioner exits in this wheel well here. So it doesn't run off the side of the unit. We have your fresh water tank, your fresh water uh, hose connection, city connection, and also a tank flush, all in this area here, along with an external shower. On the 16, that shower is a pass-through. On the 20, it's an actual external shower. Taking a step back, you can see that accentuated departure angle needed for off-road excursions. If you happen to get into a spot where you do bottom out, we have these skid protectors to protect anything that's underneath. Around the back, we come back to the rear cargo hatch. You see a little latch there if you need to keep it open. But the actual door itself comes equipped on the inside with three places to store gear. This guy here actually comes over to block out the sun. And then we have a whiteboard so you can kind of tell your family or friends where you might be going that day. On the inside, the hatch itself has a big enough opening to put a mountain bike through, handlebar wise it is of course, uh, kayak, Whatever it is you have your gear, you can slide it right through here. If you're not using it for gear, no worries. Just for fresh air, you can roll this down. Uh, this, the bug guard, the screen guard will come down and you have all this fresh air coming through without having to worry about bugs getting inside. Now the main difference between the 20 and the 16 is what's on the inside. Let's go take a look. One of the first things you'll notice that's different in the larger model is this additional seating area. The seating area can sit comfortably for maybe five individuals, depending on if they're small kids or not, converts into a bed that can be for two kids or an adult, 
But what's nice about this dinette is that as I make my way around and we're all sitting here, if someone did need to leave, instead of having to scooch everyone out, the table pivots in such a way that the radius never changes the position to the occupant, allowing for this individual to simply get up and move. Now, to convert this to a bed, you undo the two quick releases, you push the table down, you secure those quick releases, you take the cushion and you lay it on top to convert it to, a, to the, the sleeping arrangement. Above the panoramic windows, you'll have additional storage to bring the items on the ground up and out of the way while you're inside. A large storage right above the galley. The galley on the 20 has the same cooktop and same sink as the Base Camp 16 does. You do have, however, a little bit more storage because we have a little bit more space to design that. Across from the galley is our wet bath. Again, the same size as what's available in the current base camp, configured slightly different, but taller because the overall height in this from ground to ceiling is 6'7". Moving into this area, we have more storage. These plexiglass windows open up to additional storage, all that has a little bit of a lip there so it wouldn't come out during transit. Um, you can throw bags in there, gear, whatever it is you might need. The air conditioner is optional. The air conditioner uh, is 11,500 BTU, and it is an option for this. It does have a heat strip, so it will heat as well as cool. Uh, moving to more of the appliances, we have our heater, our furnace. That furnace also heats your tanks and your plumbing. So if you're below freezing, you definitely want to have this on. Or, unique to base camp, on either size, there's a red switch up here in the front that will heat just the tanks. Why would you want either of those? If you're going, let's say, in the winter, skiing, and you don't want to heat the whole unit because you're not connected to power, you can heat the, just the tanks without heating the entire cabin using less energy, more efficient, and then when you get back in the, system, in the um, base camp, you can turn the system on and then turn your tank heaters off. You can also use those tank heaters while driving. This particular model has solar. You can see that from this Vectron solar controller. That's also optional. If chosen, you get two AGM batteries and two 90 watt panels on top. You also have your water heater, which is tankless. That water heater will, is instantaneous and continuous. So you can take long, long hot showers if you need to after your events. This is your, this is your uh, tank leveling system. You have three tanks on this. On the 16, you have a combo tank, gray-black, and a freshwater tank. Here in the 20, because we have more room, we can actually have a freshwater tank in this size, it's, or in this case, it's 27 gallons, a gray water tank, 28 gallons, and a 21 gallon black water tank. Underneath where I'm sitting, will house our hot water heater and our furnace and comprises of this whole space. However, on the other side, it's all about storage. Inside, you'll have your four table legs. The table legs offer a quick release for fast and easy installation and for ease of removal. It just simply pops off and pops on. That was an update we did on the Base Camp 16 last year. It can also be swiveled to match your needs, whether it is a workspace, meeting space that can be combined, or one for egress. When you are ready to convert it into a bed, you simply remove the longer one, and you grab the smaller one, which, just like that one, comes down, and now these become supports. So when it folds out, either for into one bed or the complete bed, you have the two different supports here to help support it. So one of the other options we want to highlight is the microwave. Uh, it is an option, whether you choose to have one or not. If you do not have one, it will have the black plexiglass and be used for storage. 
The 4.3 cubic foot refrigerator runs off full electric and is a little bit larger than what's available in our 16. Two additional storage units and the two different tank heaters that I mentioned earlier, as well as a 12 volt and USB. And by the way, there's USBs around this whole area. Uh, don't forget the storage hooks. We have plenty of those as you walk into the, to the uh, base camp. Your screen door. And last but not least, there is another option. This heater rail up on top offers a unique tent. So you can slide this tent into the heater rail. It kind of slides in to that channel. So it's a weatherproof connection and comes out. Has a hallway, has an area out here. And the best part about it, the tubes themselves are filled with air. And similar to a kind of a bicycle pump, it takes about 30 to 40 pumps to get the entire tent inflated. Makes it a lot quicker and easier to set up. Certainly if it's just one individual. This was the first look at the all new Basecamp 20 and Basecamp 20X. We didn't go through all the small details. There's a lot. Please contact your local Airstream professional for more information or visit us at airstream.com.